Wait, what did you say? What was that for? Okay, some light choking. <laughs> that is funny. Okay, everybody. Um, I just got a notification that my 23 and me results um, just came. Behind me, I have my cousins. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, they are clearly new to this whole YouTube thing, sorry. If they're a bit excited. Yeah, excitement is real. Okay. The excitement is real. I know my cousin Zach, and we'll jump into this in another video, but my cousin Zach has already done like the 23, no, Ancestry? Ancestry. Ancestry. Well, Ancestry. Ancestry DNA. His sister has done the 23 me. so like, hopefully she comes up in my list. I am actually so excited. Let me screen record what I'm looking at as well, so. Y'all can see. Boom, boom, boom. <gasps> ah! Okay. Okay. Nigerian. Ah, I knew it. Oh. I'm fully. I'm ninety-five point five percent West African. No, who would have guessed? <laughs> I'm fully West African. I'm Ghanaian, Liberian, and Sierra Leonean. Nigerian, Senegambian, Guinean, and just like broadly West African. And for the other 0.5% or 4.3%, I'm Northwestern European. So British, Irish, French, and German, Scandinavian, broadly Northwestern. So I fully am from West Africa. See, I knew it. Did I say this? Did I say this? I already kind of have my preconceived notions about what this test will say, but I also do know that my family is, um, my dad's side of the family is like of Gambian and Sierra Leonean descent. Bruh, I feel so hurt though. I was fully expecting some East African spice in me, but uh, it's like. Some of that spice. It's like, I'm just, I'm, I'm fully 95% West African, okay. Good morning, I am up and I feel like I'm in a better position to talk to you guys about my findings. I, okay, so the reason I had makeup on yesterday was because I had a wedding. Did I say that already? Anyway, I had a wedding yesterday and it was fantastic. My cousin was getting married and so I'm up now and ready to talk about DNA since. <laughs> DNA test. By the way, this is how my camera felt the last time. Remember my last video, I talked about how my camera got destroyed. Thank the Lord that they were able to fix it, but <laughs> this is how it got destroyed. So yesterday, basically, just low context, I did the 20. Oh my gosh, my voice. Oh my gosh, my voice. <laughs> I did the 23 and me DNA test because I'm getting so many questions about like how I look, like where I'm from. And although I kind of had a rough idea that I was West African because my mom is Ghanaian, my dad is like Sierra Leonean and Ghanaian and Gambian or whatever, um, I kind of already knew where this was heading. So I already thought that I might be West African, but I thought maybe for my little face structure, maybe my high cheekbones, my whatever, whatever, I'll be a little, little spice, just a little spice of um, like Eastern African, Southern African. I was so freaking ready. Somebody was asking me yesterday, like, how do I feel? I'm not gonna lie, it's a little underwhelming because I already knew I was West African. <laughs> like, I already knew. So, um, where do we go from here? I'm no different. Um, six weeks ago than I was this week. How long did the test take to come? It actually took about, roughly about like five weeks to come. So they gave me a range from the 11th of January to the 20th of January. And so 11th came, they were like, nah, they're moving into the 18th. I'm like, no, just tell me. And then luckily they sent it yesterday on the 15th of January. So let's talk about the health stuff. Obviously I'm not going to be able to share every single health detail just because people are weird on the internet and i'm still figuring out the boundaries so i don't know what i should share or what's going to come back and bite me in the bum bum so i'll just tell you this apparently i like to wake up likely to wake up around 8 37 which is very true it gives you like really like quirky things like do i get alcohol flush no i don't Am I lactose intolerant? It says likely intolerance, which I don't think is true, like at all. So I don't know. I don't. I don't think I'm lactose intolerant. I, it says I can't smell asparagus in urine, which I thought was pretty interesting because I don't think so. Apparently, there's people. And if you're watching this and this is you, good on you. 
but apparently people smell like after you eat asparagus you can smell it in your pee and I like I just I don't think I've ever smelled asparagus in my pee before so I feel like that is very interesting the typical likelihood of type 2 diabetes but I'm only 47% likely to have diabetes but I'm just above the typical range apparently like people is either from 0 to like 47 I would like that not to be the case so they give you like tips on how you can spice it up so that like this will not be your portion because it's not my portion it's very interesting because they said some stuff about me so basically the sickle cell conversation that a lot of people are having is that when you get together with somebody and you want to have kids you need to make sure or you need to check what their their sickling status is so for example I am a carrier of the sickle cell gene so whoever I end up with needs to not be a carrier of the sickle cell gene otherwise my child one of my kids might likely have sickle cell anemia which is very very painful for the child and um and yeah like it's just very painful for the child and i don't want my baby to be sick and like i, I know that there's research that's coming up and everything but it's just very very it's a very it's one of those very important medical conversations to have prior to you getting with somebody but it goes a step further because there's also another test on here that says that i have something similar well not similar but similar to that in terms of but this is like with my kidney i carry the apol one dash related variant for chronic kidney disease i'm not likely at increased risk of developing apol one related chronic ki kidney disease based on my genetic results so more than likely this isn't something that will come and affect me however if i am getting married or if i am having a kid with somebody it says yeah your parents and siblings may also have this variant and each of your children has a 50 percent of inheriting the variant from me but if my partner also has one or more of the apol variants included in this test my children could inherit a combination of variants that puts them at increased risk of chronic kidney disease so i'm sitting here like get those medical tests done and so yeah um this is a lot it is a very interesting test i'd say if you want to get the test the best time to get it is when they have their sales on um there's 23andme and there's ancestry dna um i've done 23andme i kind of want to do ancestry dna but probably like later down the line lastly there's a relative side of 23andme and um obviously i can't show you the names of my relatives for confidentiality purposes but basically uh, they have a place there where you can click and view your relatives so luckily for me i have actually found one of my cousins who is who shares 2.2 percent of my dna <clears throat> she's my second cousin which is very very accurate um it's a long long story but i was telling you basically we found another one of my family members they popped up on my dna um thing so we found a long lost mysterious family member and they popped up on my dna test so that was like a big big confirmation that like nah like Yo, this is freaking family and so it's just very very exciting um this is a very exciting time for my family i mean the wedding was yesterday finding lost relatives it's, it's cool it's cool what am i going to do now i can't believe i'm 95.5 percent west african they didn't even god you didn't even give me a little spice just a little spice eh? i'm just my <laughs> i'm just here with my loud west african self <laughs> Okay, I love you guys and I'll see you later. I just want to be a library. So, stay tuned. Voila! Mm -hmm. So, watch this space. Watch this space.